I'm Mark Williams for PickupTrucks.com, and we're here in Michigan for the first half of our ultimate heavy duty challenge. We're doing both three quarter ton and one ton trucks with payload, with trailers, on the road, track testing, everything, everything you want to know about these pickup trucks. Here we have the one tons. Let's see how they did. This HD comparison test is very different than some of our past competitions. Because of the size and scope of these pickups, we've decided to break this PickupTrucks.com competitive event into two separate weeks. For week one, we did all of our testing in Michigan, where we started our HD challenge at a NHRA-sanctioned drag strip about 30 miles south of Ann Arbor. We did both 0-60 to 60 and quarter-mile acceleration runs, both empty and loaded. And for our loaded runs, we used a 16,000-pound gooseneck double-axle engineering trailer that basically had a whole bunch of 500-pound ingots loaded over the rear axles. After our day at the drag strip, we headed to GM's Milford Proving Grounds, where we conducted our wide-open throttle runs up a 7.2% grade, collecting both 0 to 40 times off the line and quarter-mile times all the way to the top of the hill climb. At the end of our proving ground day, we ran 60 to 0 brake test runs in three different ways. First, completely empty, no trailer. Second, with our 16,000 pound trailer connected with the benefit of trailer brakes. And third, with the trailer connected without the benefit of trailer brakes, just to see how these trucks would compare. Our second week of testing started in Las Vegas where we required each of the three truck makers to bring us the exact trucks we had for week one testing. This time, we'd be towing flatbed, gooseneck, load trail, double axle trailers with payload weighing about 20,000 pounds. Our first test in week two is a flat out run bottom to top at the infamous Davis Dam hill climb, where we also conducted exhaust brake testing. After Davis Dam, we towed our monster trailers with our one-ton turbo diesels along the I-70 to the Eisenhower grade in Dillon, Colorado for another wide-open throttle bottom-to-top run and exhaust brake test. In all, we tested each turbo one-ton dually very near their max GCW number in 19 different scored events. Of course, we added to that numerical total our three judges' scores for each truck splitting the empirical and qualitative scoring, 65-35. So here are the results. Finishing in third place is the 2015 Ford F-350 Power Stroke. Even though it won seven of 19 events and many of those flat-out acceleration runs, it just could not keep up with the better suspensions, road feel, and interiors of the GMC and the Ram Heavy Duty. Finishing in second place is the 2014 Ram Heavy Duty 3500 Cummins. That did exceptionally well in all the big distance pulls, offering the strongest, most confident, and comfortable towing experience of the group. Our judges especially like the quality interior and its high-tech features. Unfortunately, it did not do well enough as an all-around superstar, so it didn't get more points. And in first place, the 2015 GMC Sierra 3500 HD Duramax, winning almost half of all the competitive events and placing first with two of our judges and our expert scoring, the GMC was our best all-around player, doing just about everything well, if not winning the important categories outright. Congrats to all of our competitors for making this 2014 Ultimate One Ton HD Challenge a huge success, but a special compliment to our winner, the 2015 GMC Sierra 3500 HD. PickupTrucks.com's overall winner. So that's a wrap for our 2014 Ultimate Heavy Duty Challenge. For all the specs and details, go to PickupTrucks.com.